Hey everybody, nice to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some new wood. I got wood. This is some wood that I picked up off the Facebook marketplace. It's actually one of my local fish club groups. Somebody had posted that they had some of this stored. So I went down and socially distancedly picked it up. Um, so I thought we'd talk a little bit about what we do to prepare wood before we put it in the aquarium. So I'm talking about this tank. Um, I'm not going to aquascape it as such. But I just don't want to leave it plain. I'm just going to make it look a little bit interesting, both for the fish and for myself. It's not just um, for them. I want it to look all right, but also to give them some cover, some areas to hide in, to block sight lines and give some space to each of the fish so they can hide away from others. If someone's getting picked on, then they can just swirl away behind a bit of wood or behind a plant or something like that. So I talked about a couple of videos ago, these plants and the pots, how I'm just going to have this very thin layer of sand so I don't have to worry about keeping the substrate clean or planting in the substrate because one day I might keep fish in here which might dig around so plant pots is the way to go so I've got three terracotta pots I might add a couple more I've got a load of wood to sort out uh, the only other thing in the tank is the sponge filter so I'll move them around and uh, we've got the heater over this side obviously um, and the fish themselves uh, so what we'll do is I want to play around with the wood a little bit first so this stuff here is what I would call your regular bogwood, it's your bog standard bogwood. Uh, I've got a few pieces here. It's been stored for a long time and just to make sure that there's no nasties in it and things like that, I'm going to soak it overnight in a barrel, make sure that anything that is in there gets a chance to come out. I can check the water beforehand and after and see if anything's happening in it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine. Um, I've got a few nice pieces here, which if you were buying these on eBay or somewhere like that, this would cost you a small fortune, so it's definitely worth checking out your local classifieds or eBay or local fish clubs and that kind of thing. Something I like to do is kind of envisage the tank and get a layout in mind and maybe take a few pictures, in this case I'll take a video of it, but take a few pictures of some layouts that I think work and um, that look a thick a th 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 that look aesthetically that look aesthetically pleasing, as well as might give some good swim throughs, some good areas to hide behind, all that kind of thing, but not block off light um, or space in the tank so I can't see what's going on. So I'll play around with it a little bit, take some pictures, and then I know once I come to put it in the tank, I can play around with them a little bit easier and refer back to those pictures. So I'm just going to play around with them for a bit, basically. What you should have just been watching was a time lapse and montage of me putting all this together, all terribly exciting, but that would only have worked if I'd actually pressed the button. So I've been in a bit of a huff for the last few days and I've just come back to this now. This is what we've ended up with. As I said, it's not really an aquascape, it's more of just trying to make it look a bit less boring, give them some places to hide. Um, the wood, it will release lots of tannins. The water's quite clear now because I've just done a water change on it, but it is releasing tannins into the water, which is really good for the fish. Might be a bit unsightly, some people think, but yeah, lots of interesting nooks and crannies. If it is my intention to get a snakehead for this tank eventually, this is quite good because it gives it lots of places to get in and hide around. Um, but the angels themselves, they're actually really good. Um, they're, they're super inquisitive and super eager to get up and feed and uh, just say hello or <laughs> whatever else is going on um, but yeah they, they seem to be very healthy there's one of them that's a little bit dodgy and um, which seems to be hiding out and I don't know I'll hold out high hopes for that one um, it's not really feeding as vigorously as the others and um, they're starting to obviously you can see some of the markings now a lot clearer I've heard from the supplier then they've been in touch so they're now calling them Altum or Scolari Altums, um, 
So the, sto the story is that because it's these strange times that we live in with COVID and everything, that they've had to use different suppliers to get their fish, um, and these were just what they got sent as Altums, um, which is kind of what we talked about in the last video, that that's what they were sent as, and not necessarily that. I mean, th there have been hybrids between Altum and Scalari angelfish, but they're different species, but there have been uh, hybrids created before and shown before. I'm not entirely sure that these are them, these just look like your regular Scalari angels, but some of them do have um, some colours coming through, so Altums you tend to see a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, things like that, along with the big stripes, and they're really big fish. There's an imitation of that here, rather than it being that itself, um, so I'm still pretty sure that these are just regular Scalari, with some Altumy type markings on them, um, so we'll call them Altumish angels. In terms of tank mates, nothing at the moment. I've put in a few, well not nothing, I've put in a few bristle nose plates in here. Um, they're, just because I've got thousands of them, they're doing really well as well in here. Feeding these guys, I've not found a food yet that they won't take vigorously. Um, I've been trying to limit it to a good quality flake, a good quality um, frozen food. So I've got some brine shrimp, some daphnia, some things like that. I'm mixing it up a bit, but they're really good uh, at really good feedings. I've also got some dried um, tubifix, which they seem to really quite like. I'll put some of that in for now. I like to just put them in. Press it against the glass, like so, and it kind of sticks to the glass. That's a good little tip to check out how they're feeding, because it stays there for a while, usually at least. He says as it falls off, um, but as you can see, the fish are loving it. One of the things I'm, I'm trying to do is just treat them like any other angels you would do. Make sure they've got plenty of space, um, make sure they've got really good food. Temperature a little bit higher than normal. Um, I think I've got this tank at 27 degrees at the moment. Um, the plants, I'm kind of happy, well, happy enough with the plants. And the pots have just got a thin layer of substrate, which is just a bit of sand and a little bit of gravel in spaces. Some rocks, some wood, just to add a little bit of interest, give them some places to swim around. Break up the sight lines, so as if there is any aggression between them, they can get in and amongst. I have noticed there has been that two factions at least have formed. One will live beside this sponge filter in this corner, and another one will live behind this, beside this sponge filter in this corner. And then when you feed them, obviously they come out. And there's one at the back, like I say, that's not doing well, but the rest of them are doing really well. They look quite healthy, bright, active, feeding well, good colours, proud fins, all that kind of stuff, making them look good. These are the first angels I've ever kept, actually, so it's a good learning experience for me as well. Um, but in terms of the, the general tank, I think this is just about finished. I would like to get some snakeheads, but I want the smaller ones. Um, and then we'll decide whether or not these live in here or not because these could go upstairs into the discus display tank but the discus as well probably they would be absolutely fine with that I think but again I have seen uh, a lot of people do keep snakeheads with the angels so we'll see how we get on with that um, but I think I'm probably still a couple of months away from finding a, a, a decent source um, I know they had some down in uh, Wharf Aquatics then at Pinkston um, but they are not open for browsing at the moment so need to wait for the shops to open back up again to go and see and um, the ones that I'm seeing online are horrendously expensive and not the smaller species that I'm actually after and um, so we'll leave that for now and just enjoy these guys so thank you very much for watching uh, I'm sorry that I cocked up and my fat fingers didn't get you the hugely exciting time lapse of me escaping but all you really missed was me messing about moving rocks around and giving up and leaving them where they fell in the end and um, as I say I'm not really at escaping this this is just about getting some stuff in there to break up sight lines and provide a bit of interest for both the fish and for me it's not a planted tank we've got the pots there and um, it's just an, an easy maintenance tank that's what we're going for here but thank you very much for watching if you haven't already please click that subscribe button um, it really helps me out, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye!